Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thank you so much for joining us. Our guest is Ted Liu. Mr. Liu is a member of the California State Senate. Sir, we thank you very much for joining us again. Thank you. Our budget crisis continues, although revenues are up a little bit, but we still face a budget deficit of over 10, 11, 12 billion dollars. That's correct. And uh, uh, Treasurer Lockyer is pretty dramatic, and he has Go said ahead. you don't want to extend the taxes. Okay, 25 percent across the board cut. What do you think about that? It is pretty dramatic, and we just have to deal with what the facts are. And the facts are that we had a $26 billion budget deficit at the beginning of the year. We solved about half of that through mostly cuts and realignment. So we have about $13 billion left, and then we did have a small revenue bump of about $2.5 billion. So it's around $10 billion we have to close, which is a pretty big number still. It's not as bad as before, but it's right. pretty big. But dramatic problems face, when you face dramatic problems, you need dramatic solutions. And so I want to kind of push you on it and say, Treasurer Lockyer says, right. okay, Republicans, you don't want to extend taxes. Let's just do a across the board cut. Simple, Every everything gets cut equally. That is one possibility. Uh, the other possibility, and we're exploring this, uh, since we now have a proposition to pass that lets us do this, when we make the cuts, uh, we can actually designate where geographically we want the cuts to be. And so, for example, uh, let's say a legislator, a Republican legislator, for instance, doesn't want to fund state parks, we could just shut the state parks down in that person's uh, I have heard that. I think it was Treasurer Lockyer who brought that up initially, I yes. think, with the last budget crisis. It's an interesting solution. I, is it fair, though? I mean, we are all Californians. We, we are. are one state. Correct. And so, so certainly we're not going to say, hey, we're going to defund your schools because your legislator uh, refuses to raise any revenue. But there are things such as state parks or maybe your DMV. If your legislator doesn't want to fund transportation, well, we can have the residents of that district maybe have to drive farther for a DMV office because we'll shut the ones down. Is that down. a realistic solution? I mean, might yeah. we really see that? Absolutely, because we're sort of uh, looking at dramatic solutions because we've already done 13 right. billion cuts. That's not, there's not much else we can do. The leader of the Senate, Daryl Steinberg, has right. also proposed to allow localities to take more control over taxing. Right. And as a result, uh, subject to voter approval, certain voters could increase their own taxes, be it sales or oil right. extraction. Um, what do you think of that? It's kind of similar to right. what you're saying in terms well, of geographic. Well, well, California certainly already has that for school districts right. because different geographic locations sure. will pass things for their school districts course, and others but this won't. Is different. It's an extension of that concept, but the only reason he's doing this is because we need revenues, and if we can't get the two Republican votes in the Senate and the Assembly to extend revenues, then we're going to have to look at other options. And so Lockyer has a pretty dramatic proposal. Uh, Daryl Steinberg has a proposal. Ultimately, I think what we need to do is focus on what generates the revenue, which are businesses and people. I mean, people and businesses, if they do well, we get the revenue. We're one of the few states without an economic plan, without a state agency dedicated uh, to trade and commerce. We eliminated agency in 2004. If that was a mistake, I've got to be able to recreate it. Which is something I want to talk about as well in the future, but I also want to get a sense of whether you really see the possibility of getting two votes from each uh, house. Because, look, you couldn't get two votes to just even put on the ballot a tax extension. Do you think they're going to vote to pass tax extensions? Right. You know, honestly, it's my opinion, it's going to depend on the redistricting maps mm -hmm. on June 10th. And if the Republicans see that their district all of a sudden became a lot more Democratic, I think we may get the two votes. Okay, well, I wish you the very best of luck. His name is Ted Lieu. He is one of the newest members of the California State Senate, recently elected in a special election. My name is Brad Palmer, and so I want to thank you so much for joining us on Local Edition. Now we're going to send you back to HLN.